welcome back to another video and i've got some more attacks to showcase regarding the smash style root rider and cookie smash that i had used in the previous video so here's the army link i'll be putting it in the description if you guys want to try it out you can see i'm using uh, like four different sieges over here i'm just keeping them with me it's going to be very very similar to how i do the super border smash but the funnel requirements are not as strict and you can see like i'm using like 11 frostbite spells it's pretty much the same army as what i had in my previous video i don't think i had mentioned what i keep in my cc so here's what i've got in my clan castle i've just got a yeti a titan a rage spell and a poison spell so we're just gonna keep that in our, in our clan castle and that that is all we need for this attack so yeah and this is the army it's going to be there in the video description and let's just jump right into some attacks i'll keep explaining on the way as uh, i show you guys the replays all right let's hop in all right so i'm just going to zoom out so we can have a look at this base we've got a very spread out i i, I can't even call it a ring style base i'm just going to call it an anti two style setup it's not entirely symmetrical like we can see how the setup around the town hall is kind of weirdly spread out especially like how the eagle is kind of away and then so it's not entirely symmetrical as you can see so this is going to be an interesting one to try to crack down with this smash style army so one thing we definitely want to do all the time is if possible try to prioritize the eagle as much as possible on most bases that's definitely going to be the approach that we should try to go for and um, i don't see any reason to use a log launcher on this one because like it's just two layers of walls that we have uh, for, uh, irrespective of which area we decide to come from so we will try to squeeze a flame finger somewhere on this base and one place that looks a little juicy for me right now because we have a lot of ground exposed so we have a few options we can have a flame finger for this area that is one option we can have a flame finger going for this area this is also another option so we've got a few options cut out over there that is definitely like some some places where you can squeeze a flame finger and as for the funnel that we require to kind of get into the core i realized that if if i use a flame finger over here most of the light corners are kind of like around over here right but uh that doesn't necessarily uh, uh clear the funnel on the edges that we have so if if i did like a warden if i did like a warden entry from here to clear this uh, corner and i did a flame finger to clear this corner and if i approach from this edge I would be leaving up the eagle for very 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 late into the attack and I don't want that because this is a very slow moving army and I don't want a passive damage to just keep striking me because I barely have any healing and the entire code is raged up like this is definitely a town hall 16 base look look at the look at that radius it's it's got quite a few things in its range and we definitely want to be optimal with our approach so what I did was actually very interesting over here I I used a flame finger to carve out this corner over here and i noticed that this edge is very thin and we have like a void space over here as well so that lets me actually use this corner as the entry point so i use my warden walk to clear this much and because because this edge is so light i just use a couple of cookies and then i cleared this area with the flame flinger and that allows us to enter with the smash through here so let's just see how that works out all right and this is definitely feasible for us as well because at least for a while there's like no damage over here right so this is going to work out well for us at least to begin with but we're going to have to be a little more efficient with our spells now that the nerf has come in as well for the frostmite spells so i'll just fast forward it a bit to reach the starting point of the attack and we can see how the attack kind of flows through so yeah as i was saying i'm just the cookies are really good they're like testing for te the teslas they're tanking the archer tower for a little bit and definitely go for these greedier flame flinger placements so now if i had placed the flame flinger at the, uh, at the very top over here instead it would have probably gone off towards the left instead of clearing this corner how i expected it to 
so definitely try to place your flame finger greedily we've got a lot of cookies in this army it should be just fine and you can see i'm kind of like surgically deploying the cookies to break open like walls destroy the enemy heroes and the funnel is pretty much set we can we can get going the, the warden was taking quite a bit of damage so i invested a few frostbite spells to uh, tank the cord for a little bit but you can see this funnel is superb there's nowhere else for anything to go sure the tesla popped up over there but as you can see the root drive our heroes have nowhere else to go except the core from this corner and we can keep spamming so the flame finger is going to help us it's going to take care of the top corner over there at 12 o'clock and our root riders our heroes everything is just going to the core and because everything is so nicely funneled into the core we can easily increase the efficiency of our frostmite spells and we need to be a lot more efficient with deploying them so having those funnels is very very important now after the nerf has come through and you can see how we've kind of like carved away at the base like this kind of yeah and that easily allows our royal champion to come in over here we can deploy some cookies to help her out maybe tank for her and help it clean up a bit having her with the diggy is very helpful especially for this so if you if you're going to copy the attack style i'm using i would say because the royal champion is kind of on her own and the cookies are supposed to help her it's better to have the diggy on her but if you guys have found that the spirit fox is also a good option for her do let me know i haven't really experimented too much but i find the diggy to be really really good if we've got a few cookies running around the base that we deployed a bit earlier and yeah that was a clean attack for us despite of how weirdly that base was set up all right let's move on to the next one all right we've got another anti two style setup but you can see like most of the heavy defenses are kind of concentrated in this outer ring i'm gonna mark it just now yeah most of them are in this outer ring over here and the town hall area itself is not very packed so you can see over here like i i have enough healing to go for the eagle artillery with my warden so that's definitely something i'm gonna be going for like an early pickup uh if i can grab the eagle that early i am definitely gonna go for it if there's a lot of value ahead of the eagle artillery uh, such that I can easily take over most of the base then instead of grabbing the eagle with my warden I would prefer sending my smash into the eagle so I can continue to go on and grab all of that value on the way to the town hall but over here as I was saying earlier most of the heavy stuff is located in this outer ring like this so what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to try to just have the warden kind of clear this corner and that can hopefully set up a path to go around this way and you can already see I'm I've kept the flame thing up top there's no reason to be scared of the ground expo over here this ground expo because it's not touching the multi archer tower so at the very least the fling the flame finger will grab the archer tower and hopefully by then we should be ready to send our smash in through here and that will tank the ground expo which will prolong the life of the flame finger and allow it to clean up a bit more maybe it can go off to the right and even help us grab the ricochet cannon as our smash passes a little bit through the core kind of like this i'm i'm assuming so that is the plan let's just see it in action and you'll notice i even like drop a few cookies here and there to help clean up behind the flame finger just to help speed up that funnel something we don't have to worry about later and it'll go a long way for us like you can see how the funnels are kind of shaping up i'm going to zoom out all the way and you can see how i'm going to hope for like this kind of a cut from the warden and you can already see like this is the kind of cut i'm going with uh going for uh, the flame finger and it's shaping up pretty nicely we're just gonna wait for the final defenses to fall and we can get going right on cue the multi attack tower dropped as well we're gonna start tanking that ground expo the root riders are joining in we pull the warden and yeah it's just time to start dropping those frostmite spells again be very very judicious with them because they have been nerfed try, try to just target the areas that are most heavily threatening to your army 
at any point of time. Try not to drop them too much at once. Try to treat them more like freeze puzzles now. So definitely a bit, be a bit more careful with the usage. And you can see I've, I've got three left, but I'm trying to make sure to drop them right as I'm about to start taking damage from them. And it's helping me a lot. And so far the plan is going wonderfully. Like the flame finger has been tanked for amazingly and we are just moving across the entire base. I even dropped the Royal Champion with the help of a few cookies to kind of like take this uh, to kind of take this area down uh, with the help of the king as well and our flame flinger has done a great job it has not only cleared this but it has even gone ahead and cleared like this much for us and you can see like now after a nerf it the attacks do get a bit closer but quit again it's like it's just up to you to make a good plan so that you can smash bases still like uh, it's not broken now it's definitely something that you have to think about a bit more and that makes this a bit more fun i would say like it's, it's good that they nerfed the frostmite spell but don't worry about it too much we've got some good plans over here we've got some good bases and we'll just hop right into the next attack as i show you how to deal with any base that you find in legends okay so for our next one we've actually got a pretty well set up base I would say for this attack because the compartments that you have to enter in are pretty broad like if you have to go to the spam variant these compartments are extremely extremely broad they're large in size as well so it's not something that you can simply handle with like a spam style attack so if I were if I had to do this using the spam style attack I guess I would I guess I would do something like drop the root riders over here hopefully they clear this much and maybe I would invest a few frostmite spells and then try to clear the coin over here and then like spam along this edge like this with the log launcher but then again there's no guarantee that everybody will follow through to the core because of how heavily stacked this compartment is so as I and if I had to enter from over here there's a very large chance I round about this coin over here and look at this we have single infernos in the core and all of our heavy defenses are located the inner arrow you could say so this is definitely a good base that is set up against this uh, spam style version of this attack i would say and you definitely want to keep an eye out for how bases are trying to like ensure that you're going to have a tough time with this attack and of course we've got a terrible ending like even like the burst defenses are at the very beginning if you had to do it using the spam style attack it's trying to force a very early warden ability it's trying to force all of your free spells to be used early your frost might spells because of uh, all of the single infernos and then to end with we've got the hero killers we've got the monolith we've got all the enemy heroes and we've got the town hall itself at the very end so definitely this um, this smash style version is going to be much better for us uh, and you'll see just why in a second so how we can break this down is as i was saying like we can instead of using the root riders to create the funnel because of how light the compartment is and just having two healers on a warden is going to carry us uh, just a matter of preference for me instead of going from the top corner i just went from the bottom corner and i actually embraced the size of this compartment I embraced it and I took it to my advantage and just rotated around the base like this. And no, I did not use a log launcher. What I did instead was, since the enemy heroes are so exposed, I just went ahead and killed all of them with cookies straight away. Just nothing else to do. And I can just drop a flame finger as well right over here to target the wizard tower and then start going towards the builder huts as well. So that's going to be a good setup for us. You will see just. Uh, in a second how it works out for me so let's just have a look i'll just fast forward to starting a bit uh, so yeah you can see i've started uh, dealing with the enemy heroes out over here i've already taken on the enemy king the enemy rc the queen i was just waiting for her to step over the wall so i could get her and yeah we've got the warden down over there he's doing his job so no problems at all I'm just there were holes in the base so I try to take full advantage of them I just try to check for traps within the base and you can see how the funnel is slowly shaping up so note that I'm not going to be activating the town hall with the flame flinger but 
I'm going to be starting my smash very very early so the town hall will activate on percent and you can see how I'm also clearing the way on the uh, left corner with some cookies so as of now the plan is going to look something like the warden is clearing this much I'm going to drop the uh, root riders right here the smash will come in over here I'm just going to embrace the curve because all the defenses are right there you can see I started dropping the frost might spells to help the warden retain his health I dropped the royal champion very early that is so important because um, this area is filled with defenses as well over here so it's just perfect for the royal champion to come in like there's no reason for us not to do this uh, she she's just encouraging everything to push further and further towards the core so let's just have a quick look and yeah our root riders our heroes everybody's pushing towards the core no problems at all the royal champion is doing a fantastic job she is staying well protected outside our smash kind of squiggled into the core like this uh, with the help of the royal champion and we're just rotating around the base and you can see this is already shaping up to be a wonderful attack the frost mites are doing a good job we just placed the last spell the queen is handling the last scatter shot the root riders are breaking the wall into the final monolith uh, the final defense which is going to be like tough for us to deal with which is the monolith and the flame finger is handling the town hall all on its own it, it doesn't even matter that uh, our heroes are not going to explicitly part through the town hall in this case we were lucky that they did but again it, it didn't it wouldn't have mattered for us too much because the base is pretty much gone with this plan and yeah that's uh, pretty much it for this specific attack that was an interesting plan as well so definitely i like the smash variant a much much better over the normal spam variant do give it a try and let me know how it works for you but i think i still got like an attack for you guys attack or two maybe uh, so let's just dive right into the next one all right um this is actually a very interesting wish and i'm gonna take some time to talk about it so i think i keep this one as the last attack for this video but that's uh fine like i i think i'm releasing videos a little more consistently these days uh, i'm trying to keep a daily upload schedule so it should be fine i will definitely be back with more amazing tips in the next one really really soon after this but keeping that aside let's just dive right into this one as well so this is actually probably a very difficult base because of how teaser like this is and how diamond like it is as well once again we've got like a very i would say convex edge over here like look at how it's like cascading outwards like this so we've got like very very toxic compartments to deal with on the way to the town hall and you can see how the ending itself is really really toxic to deal with as well so we've got one second we've got like all the enemy heroes to at the end to deal with we've got an invis tower as, as well over here right at the end but it's so deep into the base that even if you used a log launcher from the far end of the base the logs would not reach this invis tower at all so that is something to definitely um consider if you are using the spam variant of this but luckily for us we are actually not going for the spam variant we have the smash style attack as i've been talking about since the very beginning so how can we break this base down with uh, this specific style because the compartments are very small and despite of the smaller size they are pretty beefy to kind of like go through if we had to push very deep we would end up losing a lot of time end up risking our warden ability to be lost so we we just need to consider how we can funnel our root riders very specifically because they are the ones that are going to be opening up our walls for us to the core and um, you can see over here like we've got some defenses like laid out in this compartment like that we've got this entire thing is like a defensive compartment we've got some defenses over here as well so we definitely want to approach from the far end of the base because we want to eat up most of the heavy stuff with our root riders and our heroes and we want the royal champion to have a relatively easier path while the core is being taken care of 
and we need to ensure that we also get to the town hall and somehow finish it off too so these are things that we need to kind of take care of in our plan and you might be wondering like hey you can still use a log launcher like you can definitely try to open up the walls but that's where i will say back to you like we have our root riders we just need to ensure that our path is good enough to have the root riders somehow go through the core and open up a path for us to the town hall now definitely where we can start our warden like we are always going to be starting with a warden walk on this one we have only two healers i'm not gonna be risking a queen charge because she can go really deep into the base and start pulling the attention of a lot of defenses very quickly so if you notice like we have the bottom and the top corners are very very light like this is definitely feasible with a warden walk so that is definitely something i'm going to be uh, doing that's uh, something i'm going to be exploiting and the eagle as well is an easy pickup but as i said in the last uh, attack as well the eagle does not lead into damage as easily there's a higher chance that um, if we started a smash into the eagle suppose i started my smash over here there's a higher chance they'll start walking around instead like that and i don't want that to happen like, i don't want my root riders to go like this around the base that's like the last thing i want um because like i i want fast direct access into the core i have only two healers with me and i want to utilize my spells efficiently as well so we have to be a lot more careful of these things we can't simply willy-nilly spam and just be happy uh with whatever happens uh it, it doesn't matter because the frostbite spell is gonna save us uh that's not the case anymore we have to be more efficient we have to plan a bit better and make sure that we are sending our troops in the direction that we want to send them. So what I did instead was I started picking apart the defenses that are there on this left side using a flame finger. It's not much value. Uh, we are going to just grab maybe like this much of the base. But you see, I even ensured to start the flame finger much before I started the Warden buff, just for the sake of giving it a bit of a head start so it can clear that area in time. This is definitely a good plan because there's only one Builder Hut in the area and I don't even think the Builder Hut is targeting the Eagle yet. It only heals up the single Inferno. So there's a lot of damage we can deal to this compartment very very quickly. Again the Mortars are also taking that flame damage. This is a pretty good spot for us and I'm gonna take advantage of this entire compartment having defenses in them to kind of push our root riders into 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 this area so now let's just have a look at what the base is going to look like after this is done so you can see that this archer tower after it falls we've actually got a very nice path for the root riders and you'll see that in just a moment over here you even see i protected my warden with the frostmite spells because he was starting to take damage from the ground expo and we do not we do not want to risk him losing that ability at all and look at how efficiently we're able to place our spells over here yes the root riders are going to pass towards the single inferno but the next thing they're going to do after this they're going to walk right into that builder hut over there and then they're just going to open up the entire core and look at that it's just so beautiful i'm even in i'm even joining in the rc from the top just to ensure everybody goes back into the core it's a perfect time because the entire core is tanked for there's no reason not to join the RC in right away. What I should have done over here is I should have taken advantage of the heroes as well sitting on the outside. I should have used a few cookies to um, kill them right away. But it should be fine. Like look at how efficiently we managed to funnel everybody as I was talking about. Like we just did exactly this. And the root riders have nothing else to do except go for the town hall. The cookies are protecting the royal champion very very well. We've still got one more frost uh, bag of frost mites, and everything is just overwhelming this back end. It stands no chance at all. Look at that! Like it's it's amazing. Like we even popped our king ability at the very end. May sure our warden died, but it's completely fine. We still have our queen ability. King is healthy. Uh, even if the king went down somehow, we had his phoenix. But definitely better that we are able to define a path like this rather than just going for spam and arbitrary value so 
I this this base is probably a prime example of why I would prefer the smash style attack over the spam style attack. There is no guarantee that we would have been able to grab all the defensive in in any of these compartments, say like over here. Um, and even if I even if like sure like this corner was easy, but this corner like this corner over here it was protected by a single inferno as well and sure it would have been possible to get the funnel down but we would have had to drop the log launcher like this and move through the base which is perfectly fine it's reasonable but we would be ending on that invis tower and all the enemy heroes as well and i feel like because we have no healing as well in that army this rage core over here was actually very toxic it was pretty well set up to handle the spam uh, but our healers actually saved us. It's a good thing we popped our warden ability on the way to the town hall. And just having that feeling of control is a lot more beneficial, I would say. It doesn't feel like uh, you're losing control. It doesn't feel like, oh, am I going to grab the town hall? Am I not going to grab the town hall? Uh, that, that stress is not there, I would say, in the attack. It's a lot more controlled. It's, it's much better than the full spam variant, I would say. Do give it a try let me know how it does go for you if you decide to give it a try uh, but yeah that's all for this one i'm glad they nerfed the frost Max spell this attack is actually feeling reasonable now like it feels like you can defend it with the right bases but i'm still to experiment with those bases on defense if i'm able to figure out what bases work well i will definitely let you guys know but uh, for now i think that's it for me in this video if you guys did enjoy it, leave a like, do subscribe, do share with your friends. It's all up to you. It's all just to support the channel. But um, yeah, that's it for me in this one. Alright, I'll see you guys in the next one and peace.